Now we want to introduce the II servo press with integrated load cell. So as you can see, this is uh, the smallest unit that we make. Um, it's a very compact design. It has a folded motor, uh, so it does keep the servo press uh, relatively a small package compared to our competitors. As you can notice, it has an integrated load cell, so we can close the force feedback loop uh, back at the amplifier controller. So this allows us to give very high precision force control as well as position control. Um, the unit comes standard as equipped with a batteryless absolute encoder. So it's actually a mechanical encoder, so there's no battery, there's no homing, there's no maintenance. Uh, and we've rolled that feature out across all of our family of products. Um, if you look down at the controller of the amplifier for the servo press, we have a multi-function connector right here that we're sending data out to this Siometric SigPod device. So we're sending an analog signal from the load cell as well as the position feedback um, off the encoder so that you can collect the data for each process uh, or each part that you're running. Yeah, I'm John Perkins from Symmetric, and uh, what we're presenting here is the SigPod with the PSV program. It's going to act automatically capture the uh, press, and it displays a live trace while the uh, press is occurring. At the uh, at completion of the press, we're doing uh, three feature checks on this. We have the spring rate, the maximum distance, and area. Multiple other features can be added or taken away easily. It's all a menu driven. There's no programming to learn. Uh, we also monitor the distance here for total travel. Each feature has its own SPC. So you can look at trends, histogram of each feature, which is kind of nice. So if you go back to waveform, then you can overlay the waveforms and play them back, the unit will record and store locally over 10,000 records of the press. It is also capable of remote uh, storing these to a folder up in the network automatically, uh, including the waveform. And uh, in here we have an operator sc screen which is generally like this, which is pass. And it's like peeling the onion if you want to know how it passed or failed. Like if I go back to one here, Here's one that failed, and I can click on how it failed. These are the feature checks and whether they passed or failed, and I can go straight to this one, and it shows that it did not make the, uh, or it exceeded distance. Now when I also review, I can overlay the waveform, and we'll show the repeatability of the, the uh, I, I servo press is extremely repeatable, so I'll trace two, that's two records there. And if I zoom in on this, you can zoom in, you can take a magnifying portion of the curve, and there you can see that the traces are actually there. They're actually, that's an overlay of three runs, so the precision of both the measurement system and the servo press is very, very accurate. Um, so in here, if you put show all, what that does is it says some people want to see all the feature checks at once, and the one that's selected is blue highlighted. Here's spring rate, and here's the maximum distance. If I turn this off, I can look at area, spring rate, and distance. You can also see a summary. Here we're doing the distance curve and the load versus distance. And on here you have the history, and this would be the last 10,000 records, we default the unit at 10,000 locally. And again, we have an option to send all records up to the network. And so you'd have the most recent five or 10,000 records locally and all records go up. Um, the setup is very easy. It's all again, and it's password protected at five levels. So you can check the sensors, the, the model. You can have 100 models, how we collect the data the system, and this decides what is sent out to the PLC. By the way, we're hosted right now with, or we're not hosted with a PLC at this point, so we're running uh, automatically from the uh, IAI controller, and uh, when it exceeds a distance or force, it triggers the uh, data capture without having to touch a button. So if we go back, we'll finally run one here and uh, show the pass screen. 
So when it hits the uh, force of 10, it says testing. And it's complete, it passed. Then I can look at the waveform and I can go down here to right where we were before. It's also capable of recording a new one while you're reviewing old ones, and a lot of systems won't do that. Uh, we have a flight recorder in the uh, unit. It's running at 250 kilohertz. So the operator can operate and run production, and a manager can come back and look at a failure that might have occurred uh, historically. Like if I go down here to the history and say, here's one that failed here, and the area under the curve is the wrong value. It didn't achieve the, uh, the minimum work done under the curve. So they can look at that. The background changes to blue when you're in the review and the button down here is review and it shows the serial number of the one you're looking at. Uh, but we can run a press at this point even while we're running. So we just started the press and what we'll look at up here when it starts this will go out. When the press is complete it'll come back on and it passed. Now I can release this and there's the one we just ran. So it's very nice because they can analyze things while the production line still runs. Many, many more features, but we'll, this is more than enough to get you started. <laughs>